Today's video is going to be a little bit of a rant video because I want to talk about a topic that frustrates me and it probably frustrates most of you guys. Anybody that uses a computer has probably encountered this and been really annoyed by this. And this is the people that cheat at online games. What is the point of cheating at an online multiplayer game? For those of you that actually take part in this sort of cheating, what the hell's wrong with you? And I want to be really specific here. I'm talking about multiplayer cheating. I don't care if you cheat at single player gaming because you're not really cheating other people. You're only cheating yourself if you're playing in single player mode. And I can understand there may be some areas where, you know, doing some kind of cheating or some kind of hacking in a single player game might make sense. Maybe you're just not good enough to access a certain level to that game. You know you'll never be able to explore that area of the game if you actually have to play it for real. So, you know, you enable some kind of cheat, some kind of god mode to get you to where you want to be in that game. So you can see those areas of the game that you normally otherwise wouldn't see. I get that. But what is the point of cheating at an online multiplayer skill game where it's your skill against someone else? So I'm talking about online first person shooters and online real time strategy games, things like that. What is the point of using an aimbot, for example, in a first person shooter? What exactly have you proven, right? Because you haven't proven that you're better than the other players in the game at all. The all you've proven is that you can go download some cheat off the internet, some kind of hack, which be careful doing that because that hack, chances are most of the time you're not just hacking your game, you're also hacking your own computer because the people that gave you that hack, or in some cases sold you that hack, actually sold you some kind of Trojan, some kind of malware to where eventually they're probably going to hack you so it's just it's just weird the people that do this sort of thing I have never understood this when I try to put myself in the cheaters shoes the only possible reasons I can think maybe they cheat at multiplayer games is maybe they want to avoid some kind of long grind especially if it's like a role-playing game that may take several weeks to complete maybe they just don't want to go through all of that right <laughs> they just want to go ahead and jump to the front of the line they don't want to have to put in that work to gain that experience or that money or the materials the weapons that you acquire whatever it happens to be in that particular game right they just want to jump straight to the end and in that case, I would say that's okay as long as it doesn't inhibit the other players in the game in some way. As long as you're not shortchanging someone else, I kind of get that. And if you ever played role-playing games, many of them are kind of unfair, kind of unbalanced when it comes to noobs versus experienced players. Or really not noobs versus experienced players, but the new character versus the character that's been playing for a number of weeks or a number of months. You know, that brand new character that you just started in that role playing game typically is very underpowered, very vulnerable. And sometimes people just don't want to go through the pain of eventually gaining that experience and weapons and everything. I got, again, I kind of get that. But usually what frustrates me about the online cheaters and probably what frustrates most people is not the people that are cheating because they want to save some time in a role playing game or something like that. It's the ones that are trying to pretend like they have skills that they don't really have, right? It's the people that cheat at, again, skill games where you're pitting your skills against someone else's online. So we're talking about, again, real-time strategy, first-person shooters, you know, things like that, strategic games. As a primarily a Linux desktop user and as somebody that mostly plays free and open source games on Linux, we have a ton of really fantastic first-person shooters. Here lately, I've been playing a lot of Sour Brighton here in the past few months and it's a game I really enjoy. It's a fast paced first person shooter. It's got a lot of cool modes, including Capture the Flag and Deathmatch and Traitor and all kinds of really cool gameplay options in it. But one of the things with some of these open source online games, these first person shooters that are available on Linux, whether it be Sour Broughton or Zonotic and other shooters like that is Cheating is rampant, right? So many players on these games are obviously cheating. They're obviously enabling these hacks, these aimbots. They're making these crazy impossible shots all the time. They never miss, right? And it's just strange. I don't understand how they could even think playing the game that way is fun. If I was them, if I was in their shoes and I had this crazy aimbot where basically I could never lose essentially 
What is the point of playing the game at that point? And one thing I think a lot of these cheaters don't realize is they're actually running the game. And not just for the legit players like me. They're actually running the game for everybody, including the hackers. Because if everybody's enabling all of these hacks and these cheats, eventually the game kind of ceases to be fun. Nobody wants to play it. Uh, whether you're cheating or not, the game essentially becomes unplayable at, at some point. And if you're a cheater, hey, congratulations, you had a part in bringing that whole thing down. And another real side effect of these people that cheat is these cheaters, they're the reasons these major game studios have to spend millions and millions of dollars on these anti-cheat systems. These anti-cheat systems that are frustrating for everyone involved. It's frustrating for the studios that have to invest all this money and time and effort to develop these anti-cheat systems. And for players, we hate these anti-cheat systems because sometimes people get tripped up in these false positives where they're determined to be some kind of cheater because the anti-cheat system does, you know, doesn't like the fact that you're running Linux or it doesn't like the fact that you're running the Windows game and wine on Linux, whatever it happens to be, you know, it causes some real frustration. It's a very strong pain point for gaming is these anti-cheat systems that nobody likes. And the only reason they exist is because there's so many damn cheaters out there. So I really want to ask the question because I know a lot of people that watch this video, a lot of you guys cheat at online games or at least have at some point. Some of you probably regularly cheat at online games. And I really want you to answer honestly in the comments down below because it's not just me that could maybe glean some knowledge from this, but everybody watching this video would like to know, what have you accomplished by cheating at that online multiplayer game, especially if it's a skill-based game where you're pitting your skills against somebody else? What did you accomplish? And I truly want to know, and I, I would like an honest answer if possible. Obviously, you can't honestly answer and say that it's because you're the better player because you wouldn't have to cheat if you were the better player, right? Uh, you have to say that it, all you've done at that point by cheating the other player is you, you brought dishonor to yourself. I don't know if cheaters imagine that nobody can, can see that they're cheating, but honestly, everybody in the game knows you're cheating if you're cheating. Right? If you've ever played a first person shooter and spotted somebody using an aimbot, like it's, it's obvious and every single person in the game knows that person is cheating. Some people might even say something about it, call them out in some way. Most people don't because that person that's cheating is probably not the only one cheating in that particular game. So it's like, why waste my time? Because if I'm going to call out every single cheater in the game, then you know, you're going to be spending more time calling those cheaters out than actually playing the game because most of these games... Th <sighs> They're, they're just overrun at this point by these people hacking. So if you cheat, why do you cheat? I'm going to put on my cheater's hat, right? I'm, I'm going to put myself in a cheater's shoes and I'm going to imagine maybe why I might do it. I imagine you guys that cheat at these online multiplayer games do it is because you feel for some reason that you absolutely have to win. You have to win. And the reason you feel this way is because you feel like if you don't win, Nobody is going to appreciate you. Nobody's going to like you online. You do it for social status, right? Because if you're this awesome hacker that's always there, just wrecking the game, destroying the game, just blowing everybody else away, people are going to talk about how awesome you are, how awesome of a player you are. And in some ways that makes you feel like you're an awesome person in real life. So my guess is a lot of it has to do with you feeling like you winning at that game at all costs gives you some kind of social status level that you otherwise couldn't attain. Now, that being said, I don't think every cheater does it simply for the social status. I do believe there's a small percentage out there that do it simply to be a-holes. That the only reason they cheat is because they want to piss people off. They actually want to make people angry. Uh, the only reason they're there is they want to be seen as an obvious cheater. That way people say something about it and, you know, start some BS with them online. You know, it's a troll job, basically, for some people. And of course, for those kinds of people, I get that. You get that at 
in every aspect of online life, whether it be gaming or social media or whatever. So if you're a cheater, let us all know why you cheat in the comments down below. I'd love to know because honestly, if I had to make a guess, I, I'm, I'd say that the cheaters online are probably cheating for the same reasons that people cheat in the real world. And that's because they're compensating for being really small in other areas of life. Peace, guys.